So we want to tell you a little bit about why we wrote the book and why you might find it a great resource. And first of all, we just wanted to provide a resource for counselors on the changes from the DSM-4 to the DSM-5. Something that's practical, something that's written by counselors, for counselors, counselors in training, counselor educators to use in the classroom. Yes, something that you all can find as an easy to read and easy to follow resource. Whereas we realize that from the DSM-4 to the 5, there have been some dramatic changes and there have been new diagnoses added. We wanted to provide a resource for counselors and counselor educators to make that crosswalk to understand new diagnoses and something that's practical to the field of counseling. We also wanted to provide it in such a manner that made sense for counselors. For example, you're going to see diagnoses that counselors mostly treat and work with at the beginning of the book. Things such as depression, anxiety, trauma. What you're going to see towards the end of the book are diagnoses which are usually made by other professionals, such as neurocognitive, neurodevelopmental, and sleep disorders. Furthermore, we provide a lot of case studies and case examples can be integrated into your classroom and lectures with good questions for reflection and feedback. Hopefully this will be a good resource for counselors in the field and for counselor educators.